Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I show you how you can implement RoomDB in our application. You can find the link in the description section. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can alter our existing table and how we can increase the uh, DB version. Let's start it with adding a new field in our UI that is uh, input text for the phone number. So I'm going to add another column in our database uh, user info table uh, as a phone. Let's make the change for our uh, recycler view adapter as well. Now here I'm going to add another column as a phone in our existing table user info. So I'm going to keep it as a nullable because existing record uh, doesn't have the phone number in it. So application doesn't get crashed. So it, this value should be nullable. Let's make the changes in our activity accordingly. So now user entity take the three input parameters. Let's run this application and I'm going to show you how it works. So it's going to be crash. So let's review it. So it's an illegal state exception and it is suggesting us to increase the existing database version. So if you are not going to update, if you are not going to migrate our database properly, then our application will get crashed. So now let me show you how we can migrate our database with the existing record without losing the data in our tables. So we need to create a uh, object of this migration and pass the old db version and the new db version and here we need to override this migrate function it contains the instance of database and then we need to call execute sql and inside this we need to alter our existing table so alter table and the table name user info I need to add column the column name phone and its type and the simple SQL query and its default value and that's it and now we need to set it to our instance add migrate and this let's review our entity um, and all let's uh, yeah everything look good let's run our application and see so now app is not crashing so we are successfully able to migrate our database let's test it with new records and we can retrieve the data also you can see on the UI let's give a phone number you can see oh I, we forgot to update our adapter here to go so it's basically storing the data in database but while we are retrieving we are not displaying it on our recycler view so let's make this change quickly
let's turn it and see yes now you can see the Harry have the phone number so we are able to successfully add and retrieve the data let's let me show you with the new record there you go so everything looks perfect let me update few records and just show you there you go so everything looks good to me and thank you so much guys for watching this video this is quick video you can find the code in the description of this video thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe and share thank you